Welcome to another art vlog. This time I'm working on a portrait with watercolor and tempera, a watercolor and ink illustration of a mermaid, and inking some sketches in my sketchbook. This is a drawing of John from the Rockstar game. He's an outlaw. It's a western game, so it's basically a cowboy portrait. I drew it on watercolor paper. I decided to do a mix of watercolor and tempera for this piece. I am using my Harry Potter watercolors to establish the main coloring. I painted him all blue first because it's the main color I want on the piece. This way when I paint over it, the colors will all have a blue tint on them. At least that's the goal. I want it to look like it's early morning with the soft blue and pink. I wanted to experiment with the water so I added a lot of watercolor once I got the colors I wanted. Then I moved the water around the paper just to get some randomness in the stain. It's something I would like to try again in another painting. This time I think it came out just okay. Maybe I can make a more interesting stain if I practice the technique on other pieces. I let the watercolors dry and then I started painting over it with egg tempera, focusing mostly on the dark values. I also try to keep the blue of the piece in mind. I want the reds in his skin tones to look like they belong in the piece. I try to keep some blue tints on the reds to achieve this. His scarf is meant to be red with the blue of the environment, it turned a bit more purple. I added a bit of background to this one. Just some bushes and desert trees to give hint of his location. In the end I added some details with color pencils too. I think maybe next time I'll try a more interesting pose. When I see it back it's a bit boring. Just a profile but at least I got to experiment with the painting. Lately I have been feeling like drawing a lot of cowboys, so I think I will do more of these kinds of paintings, maybe a bit more exciting, like not just a profile. I also have this set planned out. It's another alphabet illustration set, but this time it would be the cowboy game themed. So I think I will start that one for the next video. Here is the final. I like playing around with the watercolor and I think I should do more of these types of experimentations. Here is a mermaid I drew. Since it's May, there is that art challenge called Mermaid. I'm not participating, but I did feel like drawing a mermaid anyway. One year I did do this challenge and it was awful because I really did push myself to make a mermaid painting a day. It was hell. I don't think I will ever do daily challenges again. I also tend to want to draw subjects randomly, so forcing myself to only paint one subject for 30 days was too much for me. In the end, I still wanted to do my own thing, but I couldn't because I spent so much time doing mermaids just for some challenge. Anyway, I learned from that mistake. This is a native mermaid from South America. 
Her fish side is based on the piranhas. I chose that fish because it's native to the Orinoco River in Venezuela. I forgot that last time I wanted to ink with the brush, so I inked again with the small nib. I changed to the brush to do her hair and some of the thicker lines on the fish tail. I added the grey color on her tail using watercolors. Maybe it wasn't a very good idea with this Harry Potter ink because it was bleeding a bit with the water. I did the red color with ink. I added red on her tail to follow the piranha coloring. The bubbles I did with white watercolor. And here we have the finished mermaid. I wanted it to look like the color of the paper is also the color of her skin. I'm inking some of my drawings in my agenda sketchbook. I am just using ballpoint pen, since I know this one won't leak through the pages like the regular ink. These are more random characters that I came up with. Just fantasy characters inspired by the Golua culture. I didn't notice that now this video has a lot of profile artworks, like the cowboy John at the beginning was in profile, and now these two drawings are also on profile. At least the mermaid is facing in another way. I like drawing profiles, but sometimes I find they can make a boring composition. And a lot of the times they look much better in my head than when I actually draw it. Like sometimes they can come across as too flat. Inking with ballpoint pen is not as fun as inking with the regular nib, like with the dip pen. At least it allows me to do some really nice hatching with it. I don't think I could achieve something like that with the dip pen. Thank you for watching and have a great day!